The Indus Valley Human Progress addresses one of the world's most established metropolitan societies. Then again, Kiladi, a site in South India, has acquired conspicuousness for its exhuming and uncovering relics from a later period. Among the artifacts found in these destinations, the carnelian beads and gamesmen reflect the pastime activities of the ancient civilization. India has long been celebrated as a source of semi-precious gemstones as a result of the mass volcanism that followed its separation from the southern supercontinent of Gondwana some 60 million years ago. From about 4000 BC, hard stones, notably carnelian, were being worked into beads at Mehergad. The culture that developed at Mehergad was a forerunner to the Indus Valley civilization. The conditions for the growth of a stone bead industry in South India are similar to those in Western India. Excavation in Kiladi has yielded to carnelian beads, reaffirming the ancient Tamil's trade links with the western part of India. Archaeologists have also found huge quantities of carnelian beads and husks from burial urns in Kontakai. The discovery of agate and carnelian beads implies that the ancient inhabitants of Kiladi had extensive trade networks. The carnelian beads unearthed during the first phase of the Vimbakoti excavation have presumably brought to light the region's trade links with Afghanistan centuries ago. The beads, found in Afghanistan, could have been imported from there to decorate shell bangles. In ancient times, a stone bead industry might have thrived in the region. Fifty-two ornamental beads, including two rare carnelian beads, have been unearthed at the Porpanaikote archaeological site. As one of the carnelian beads found was unfinished, and considering that a huge quantity of beads was found in a day, archaeologists opined that a Pandukal people moved further south in search of newer sources. The discovery of carnelian beads, which were historically found mostly in western India, shows that trade and commerce were active between ancient Kamilagam and civilizations in the western part of India. In Indus Valley excavations, various types of gamesmen were discovered, marbles, balls and dice were utilized for games. Dice, frequently produced using materials like earthenware or ivory, is predominant among the gaming ancient rarities. In South India, Kiladi has yielded 600 hopscotches. The occurrence of artifacts such as dice, hopscotches, and gamesmen really reflects the pastime activities of the ancient Tamils. The Kiladi excavation work yielded 26 quantities of gamesmen. In the historic period, gamesmen were made out of clay material. Two kinds of gamesmen uncovered in Kiladi suggest these items may be utilized to play antiquated games like chess. The dice found in Kiladi were similar to the ones found in the places where Indus Valley civilization flourished. One of the cultural traits of the Harappa is that they had the bullfight. Some famous seals show a man running towards a bull, catching hold of its horns, doing a somersault over the back of the bull and landing at the other end. Even today in South India, bullfighting and bullchasing are very common sports. This is very likely to be one of the traits that connect Tamilagam with the Harappan culture. Discoveries in Kiladi have drawn comparisons with the Indus Valley civilization and also uncovered the historical trade connections between ancient Kamilagam and western regions of India. Artifacts show well-civilized people lived in the southernmost part of India in ancient times.